Hello YouTube and welcome to another Aruba switch configuration tutorial. So in this video we'll continue our configuration of uh, Aruba switches with setup of VLANs. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my previous video we set up this uh, topology, this basic topology where actually PC1 can ping PC2 so let's verify that so here if I ping the IP address of PC2 which is .20.2 you can see we still have response from this PC2 okay but here actually we didn't set up VLANs so in order to create actually VLANs we'll go to each switch Aruba here 01 and Aruba 02 and we'll set up VLAN number 20 okay so let's go for example to the Aruba switch uh, 8320.01 which is this one here okay so I'll log on with my credentials that I set up on my previous video okay and we will try to create actually a VLAN number 20, okay? Here we go, so we are in. So in order to create a VLAN, it's pretty simple. We go to the config mode and here we input the command VLAN and here we can give it whatever number we want. So here we'll be using uh, VLAN ID 20, okay? We can also give it a name, so I will name it for example cells or cells, okay. But here you have to note one thing, if you have a name for VLAN that contains space, so it's uh, mandatory to make it between quotes. Here I have only single words, so I have no problem, okay. So let's exit of that and let's show actually our VLANs with command show VLAN. So you can see here I have a default VLAN 1. So this is which has ID R1. Okay, so this is the default VLAN for the switch. So mainly it's used to connect to the switch via Telnet or SSH. Okay, and for management purposes. And here at the bottom you can see that we have added our VLAN 20 which has as name cells okay but we didn't actually attach any interface to this VLAN okay so in order to attach this uh, 111 uh, interface to the VLAN it's pretty easy we go to the config mode and we enter the interface 111 Here we go, we are in interface mode. Then we have to put this interface into the VLAN 20 with the command VLAN access and 20, okay? Here we go. So now let's show the VLANs. And you can see this time for the VLAN 20, we have actually attached to it interface 111 okay so now if i return back to our pc1 and if i try to ping this time uh, the other pc the ping will not be successful because actually they are in different vlans okay so i have to go actually to the another switch and configure the same VLAN and attach it to it this interface here which is 114 so let's do that let's go to our Aruba switch number two enter our credentials here we go And I will show you also the VLANs that are by default on our switch. So if I input command show VLAN, you can see that I have only the default one, which is number one. And all the interface that are up actually 
uh, are part of this VLAN. So as I told you, we have to create VLAN 20 and attach to it this interface 114. So let's do that. So config mode, then we go to actually we import VLAN command, then here the ID of this VLAN, which is 20. And we can give it also name, so I'll name it same as VLAN or VLAN 20 in the first Aroba switch, which is cells. Okay, so let's verify that show VLAN command. So you can see that we created VLAN 20, which has as name cells, but no port is attached to it. Okay, so let's attach port this time uh, 114 so I will enter the command interface 114 and with command VLAN access 20 we attach to it the VLAN 20 then show VLAN and this time you can see that the port 114 is attached to VLAN 20 but still, we cannot ping it from PC1 simply because there is a link which we call a trunk link that is not configured. So this trunk link here, as you can see on port 112 on both uh, switches, will allow actually the VLAN traffic to go from this switch to another switch, okay? So, in order to lower this traffic, we'll transform this interface to trunk interface, okay? And we actually have also to specify the VLANs that are allowed in this trunk. So, in order to do that, pretty easy. We go actually to our config mode. Here, I'm working on this Aruba switch 01. We go to our interface, so in this case, the interface that will be actually running as a trunk is 112, okay? And we configure it as a trunk. So in order to convert a port or interface to a trunk port, it's pretty easy. We enter the command VLAN trunk, okay? So here it's better to enter that in small letters. VLAN trunk, then the word allowed. Then here we enter the VLAN that we want to allow in this interface, okay? So in my case, I will actually allow just VLAN 20. Here we go. So let's verify that. So if you want to see the trunk interfaces, the command is pretty easy. Show interface trunk. Here we go. So here you can see that the interface 112 is actually our trunk interface. Okay. So we'll go actually to the other switch, which is uh, Aruba switch number two, and we'll do the same. So I will go to my config mode, to my interface, which is 112. Then I will enter the command VLAN trunk loud 20. Okay, we verify that with command show interface trunk. And here we go, we have 112 on the second actually uh, switch, which is also a trunk interface. Okay, so now that we have configured this uh, link between the two switches as trunk link, let's try to ping PC2 from PC1. And now, as you can see, we successfully actually have responses from PC2 because they are PC1 and PC2 are on the same subnet.
they are on same VLANs and the strong port between the two switches allow traffic to flow between these two switches okay so that was just a brief video to show you how to create VLAN on Aruba switches and also to create trunk port between two Aruba switches. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.